WTFNN. Headline News Update. Here's Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We have the uh, Dow Industrials down 50. You get the NASDAQ off 5. S&Ps are off 8.5. Gold contracts down $8.90, trading at 1176. We have silver down 21 at 1626. Oil, light sweet crude down a buck, $58.62. Bond market, you have the 10 year down 13 tick, up 13 ticks rather, 125.28. The 30 year up one point and a half at 151.01. Both the 10 and the 30 year bond folks are in confirmed ABC structures on the way down. This is a counter trend bounce that you're looking at right now. King dollar, King dollar down 274 ticks, trading out at 95.23. You have the euro up 13 at a price point of 112.86, and the yen is up 11 at 124.37. And folks, it's a trader's paradise out here, as good as you're gonna get. So we go over the S&Ps first, what do you have? This is not gonna stop too, folks. Volatility in spades extraordinaire. You have the any E-minis out here. They've gone from lows to highs to lows. Uh, we started out this morning at uh, 2113. You got as low as 2099. And I expect what you're gonna hit out here, we're gonna hit the 2112 once again. It's firing it up right now, uh, bottom line. It's gonna be wild watching this whole thing shake out. Um, that is your E-minis. That being said, I suspect what you're also gonna have is by the end of the day, you're gonna be right back down into this 2099 level. So you can expect huge volatility out here in spades. We take a look at the NQs. The uh, three Qs out here, what you have with the NDX 100 is this. NDX 100, if we look at the Qs, got as low as uh, the uh, 109.70 right now. We are at 110.43. And what you can expect there is that that thing's going to try to tag that uh, 110.53. Um, small caps. Small, small, what the small caps had done yesterday is this. Small caps had got up and over the highs, had volume. So some small caps want to test this area of the 125.93. Uh, gold contract, we have with gold, they're whacking gold. Uh, bottom line is that they don't have the juice behind the uh, move down right now. So this is going to be really intriguing watching how this whole thing shakes out. We've done 95,000 contracts. You need a couple hundred thousand contracts. Uh, we'll see whether uh, it stays below this uh, 1180 area. We are at 1170. 1176 right now, we've hit 1174.80. Now, let's go over to King Dollar, because what we have a King Dollar, King Dollar and bonds are dictating these markets in an extraordinary way. Uh, King Dollar right now is at 95.21. It has come down with huge velocity. I mean huge velocity. Uh, first day down, two days ago, was 88,000 contracts. Yesterday was 75,000. We've done 42,000 thus far. You know, you, you very well could get a small little bounce up to 95.71, and we're at 95.21 right now. And what you can expect uh, if you get that, just more volatility uh, inside the marketplace. The bond market, what do we have with bond? Bonds out here, folks, uh, have broken the B point. They broke it with volume. They rejected it, a lower price. But guess what? You're gonna have higher volume. That's gonna bring you right back downtown. So what do we have out here? Now you have a market that is in the green, you can expect more volatility, and you can expect as we go through the trading day right now, out of nowhere, what you're going to see is you're gonna see accelerations on the way back down, because we just did a counter trend bounce, and that counter trend bounce had dramatically lighter volume as we went to higher price. We go over to the oil market, we take a look at oil. What we have with oil out here, oil is trading out at a price point right now of 58.72. Uh, inside that market right now, bottom line, you're backing down, you're backing down with lighter volume. That is saying that, guess what? Oil is going to make an attack to the higher price points once again. This 10 a.m. update is brought to you every day by EverBank. For more information on the products they offer, visit everbank.com forward slash TFNN. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Look forward to speaking right back here at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you're like me, you see the world's emerging nations as a very real opportunity.
as these countries and their economies are developing right before our eyes. And you can rest assured that Everbank has spotted this opportunity too. In fact, they have just released the second running of their five-year Market Safe Futures Economy CD. This is a CD that could really deliver, but you only have until June 11th to take advantage. Consider the facts. If the future economy's currencies beat the US dollar over the CD term, you'll get all of the upside at maturity. And should they lose, no worries. There's zero downside risk here, as you get back 100% of your deposited principal. Don't miss out. The June 11th funding deadline is quickly approaching. So hurry over to everbank.com slash TFNN hyphen CD for more information, including important product details and disclosures. Once again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN hyphen CD. Everbank is an equal housing lender and member FDIC.